Let's see what we're, we have to work with here. Okay, coming down here, we have the, the earth balance, and a lot of people think this is a better choice than butter. The reality is this is still 100% fat, wow. and uh, we, really, we really just have to get out of the mindset. Well, it sounds of, good, of, earth <laughs> balance. Uh, oh, it sure does. Uh, here we oh, do yeah. have some, <laughs> looks like sour cream, right. all right? So that obviously is, is dairy. This looks like maybe this is something for the Doberman. <laughs> and, and, and the boys. And the boys. boys. <laughs> what a lot of people don't know is that turkey and chicken have just as much cholesterol as red meat, 70 milligrams per three ounces. Um, and so, for example, somebody like yourself right. that's trying to bring their cholesterol down, you want to avoid all meat because all meat has varying amounts, almost similar amounts, of cholesterol, animal protein, which also raises cholesterol, and saturated fat which also raises cholesterol. So having turkey, chicken, white meat, et cetera. And it's, it's really no, more, no better okay. than the red meat. It's got a little bit less fat, but even your leanest piece of chicken breast yeah. is still 30% fat and 30% saturated fat. Oh, wow. I yeah. had no idea. Yeah. I never read. I never <laughs> looked. But the good thing is, you know, you're, you're young now, and right. you can gain control. And then, of course, you know, you, you got the, know. the Askemeyer hot dogs. Looks like you're trying to hide those in there. Oh, uh, the wieners. <laughs> These are made with turkey, chicken, and pork. I know. And, uh, we had a barbecue and, uh, you know, just so you guys can see here, yeah. okay. right? So we look at the calories per serving. Right. So each one of these dogs is 130 calories. And then the calories from fat are 110. Oh, that's, wow. That's so bad. that's almost 100% fat. Yeah. yeah. It's like 90%. Fat, All right? So that right there, I mean, you know, it's a fat stick. It's, exactly. <laughs> Love it. You know, this is a new a new thing. It's the diet cheese, yeah. and a lot of people think this is this is a you know a healthy type of cheese, but I want you to see the calories <clears throat> per serving are 90, mm -hmm. and the calories from fat are 54. Wow. So this, you know, if you read the ingredients here, you'll see that the second ingredient is expeller expeller pressed canola oil yeah. and or Expeller press safflower oil, and then we have coconut oil. So the second and third ingredients are oil and oil, yeah. and that is why all of a sudden it pushes the fat content up to 50%. So again, you're trying to bring down cholesterol, you're trying to lose weight, this isn't the ticket. Okay. Right. All right? Okay. And so we just want to, we want to give you the knowledge, and then we also want to give yeah. you some, some substitutions. Yeah. That's what's going to be, the substitution. Yeah. Right. And then you've got a... Vegan chorizo sausage, yeah. and again, the calories, 120, right. fat calories, 80. 80. So, you know. See, I stopped when I saw the says vegan. Yeah. I stopped at that point. I was like, great. Right. Of course. Yeah, right. no, yeah. And it says no cholesterol, no preservatives. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, we, we, one of the things, you can't ever believe anything on the front of any box or can. Okay. okay. Ever. What you have to do is you have to take matter into your own hands and you have to flip it over and you have to look at the nutritional facts panel and then you follow that up by reading the ingredients. Okay. All right, and so water, textured soy protein, what's three? Expired oil. Oil. canola oil. oil. And, but because it's the third ingredient, and they, they, they put ingredients in order of the amount that's okay. in the product. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. If yeah. it's number one, if it's oil, it's not this year. If it's one, two, or three, you know, right. okay. then it's fat. No bueno. <laughs> this is a braided, a braided string cheese yeah. with olive oil, garlic, and herbs all blended in there. What most people don't know is the, the greatest source of saturated fat in the American diet comes from cheese. Cheese, yeah. Cheese. Whether it's on your sandwiches, whether it's on your pizza, whether you're putting it on your crackers. You know, we have become a cheesed out country. All right, we're moving into the cupboard. We've got, we've got a lot of work to do here, okay. and we're going to have to go shopping. Okay. Uh, otherwise, we're going to be here till midnight tonight. <laughs> all right. And, uh, but, you know, my eyes, the, the first thing they go on is all these sugary, these sugary cereals here. If I could just right. pass that to you, you can throw that on there. Any good cupboard has to have Jiffy, right? Is that yes. good or bad? No, no, you know, look, look at, look at. Well, I'm not saying that, but let's see. We don't want peanut butter that's got sugar and that also has partially hydrogenated vegetable oils, okay. which are basically saturated fat. Okay. So let's have a peanut butter that's just got roasted peanuts. Okay. Perfect. All right. <laughs> what we're pulling out here is basically heart attack food, cancer food, right? You know, diabetic food. All right, you guys, let's get this bucket brigade going here. We are going to save this household. Oh, my goodness. All right. <laughs> 